Hi everyone, David here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back for another video, or welcome if it's your first time. Um, how are you doing? Are you doing okay? <laughs> I'm doing okay, I think. Uh, we're getting to the middle of September now. Um, it's supposed to be cooling down a bit. I'm, I'm not quite sure I feel it yet, but um, I feel like I do like a weather update every time I do these intros. Uh, so that's what happens if you come to a British YouTube channel. Um, anyway, today I'm talking about an airport. Um, it, this seems a bit strange. I feel like I've been doing a lot of airport content recently. Don't worry, this is not becoming an uh, airport focused channel. Um, this is probably the last one for at least a while. Um, I want to talk about another airport. Um, a few weeks ago, or a month ago, whenever it was, I did a video about uh, Kansai International Airport, how to get there, how to come back, what's, what's inside, uh, what it's for, all of that stuff. So at the moment, Kansai Airport is the main international airport in the Kansai area, as you might guess from the name. But today I want to talk about Itami Airport. Um, Itami Airport is, or what used to be, uh, the international airport for Osaka and the surrounding area. Um, but uh, in recent times, it's become just a domestic airport. So I'm going to take you um, take you around there. You, usually when I travel around Japan by plane, I use Peach, which is the low-cost carrier. Um, that's uh, that usually goes from uh, Kansai Airport. That's where their main terminal is. But I went to Aomori and Hakodate recently. In fact, there's a video about that. Please watch that. There's not many people watched it yet. <laughs> um, so with that, I took ANA, which is um, All Nippon Airways, which is All Nippon Airlines. I'm not sure. Airways, I think. Um, that's one of the main um, domestic carriers, Japanese domestic carriers. And there's also JAL, which is uh, Japan Airlines. I think that's. Japan Airlines, yeah. Um, they tend to go from Itami Airport, which is one of the like bigger domestic airports in, in Japan. So I'm going to take you around uh, Itami Airport. That's on the border of uh, Hyogo Prefecture and Osaka Prefecture. Um, it's actually a lot older than Kansai Airport. Kansai Airport was opened in the 90s, I think early 90s, uh, on a kind of artificial island that they made. But Itami Airport is right in the mainland. And that's been there since uh, 1939, I think it was, um, I read that on Wikipedia. Um, of course, at that time it was mostly used by the military, so um, eventually that became a commercial airline um, airport. And uh, these days, because it was hard to expand because of the, um, the surrounding areas, that's getting more, <coughs> excuse me, that's getting more and more built up. Uh, so the international traffic moved down to Kansai Airport and yeah, mostly domestic traffic from Itami now. So that's uh, that's what we're gonna look at today. Um, because I was going to uh, Hakodate. If you're going to one of the like a lesser used uh, airports, then uh, Itami is probably where you're gonna go. Although I think most of the traffic goes to Haneda Airport in Tokyo. So there's a lot of kind of commuting as well. I find Itami a bit easier to, um, to access really because uh, Kansai Airport's right down south of Osaka it doesn't I mean it's quite easy to get there but it takes a little while uh, but Itami Airport is uh, in the north so it's easily accessible from Kobe and even Kyoto and of course Osaka um, the only access issue with um, Itami is that you can only get there by the monorail oh, of course you can get there by bus or train uh, by, by bus or car sorry uh, but there are no trains apart from the Osaka monorail uh, the Osaka monorail kind of runs mostly kind of east to west um, from vaguely Kyoto direction to uh, almost uh, Kobe direction <laughs> so it's not it doesn't quite connect up these big cities uh, but it does go through the, the north area of Osaka um, that also connects to the uh, metro on uh, the Midosuji line there's a big hub station Semichuo that's the, the end of the Midosuji line um, the, although that's not Sorry, that, I beg your pardon, that's not a metro station, that's um, the Kita Osaka Kyuko line, which is kind of, they, they share the line with uh, Osaka Metro's Mitsubishi line. Um, that's going to get extended actually, that's going to uh, not stop at, not, not finish at uh, Sinuichiro. So, anyway, um, <laughs> it also connects to the Hankyu Takarazuka line. Um, so, that, that might be the best way to go there from Umeda. You can just go from uh, Hankyu Umeda station up to uh, what's it called? Hotaru Gaike Station, and um, I think that's the name, and um, join the monorail from there. So it doesn't take too long, really, about, I don't know, 30 minutes from uh, Hankyu Meda Station. So it's fairly convenient. It's, it's more convenient for me, anyway. Uh, I live not in North Osaka, but it's easier to get there. 
so let's uh, enough talking for me let's take a look at the two terminals there and uh, a little tour around as well and the view from the planes when you take off as well so please hope you enjoy this um, I'm gonna be narrating so don't worry I'm not going anywhere so please uh, like this video subscribe to this channel that'll help me so much share this video if you know any any plane uh, fanatics who are interested in uh, international airports definitely do that and leave a comment as well where do you want me to go next do you want some explanation about uh, how to travel in Osaka or how to or whatever it's okay I've been living in Osaka a long time so I'll help you whatever your request is okay thank you I'm gonna pass over to my video now so see you later okay here we are on the way to Itami Airport uh, like I said the only way to get there by rail is the Osaka monorail so I've got a nice front seat view of that so just going around the corner we can see Itami Airport uh, right in front now is the south terminal, I think, and the main building, a taller one just on the on the right. So here we are at um, Itami Airport Station on the Osaka monorail, one of those horrible street pianos too, I hate those. <laughs> and uh, a very short walk across the concourse to the main building. And you can see some signs here that will direct you if you're using one of the big two airlines. So ANA to the south and Japan Airlines to the north. But here's a, a view of the main building here. We're going to go inside there in a minute. All the office buildings in there too. And off to the left there, there's the ANA terminal on the, uh, the south terminal. I'll be using that later. And off to the right, to the north, that is the Japan Airlines terminal. There are a few other airlines, but those are the, the, the main players in Itami. So this is the uh, central building as you go in. So um, it's a bit squashed. You can see all the offices above you, but there is a bit of uh, way, uh, wayfinding there. So you can see your maps. Where to go next there are some shops and things uh, we'll take a look at those in a moment but first let's go to the ANA uh, check-in area um, as this is a domestic terminal it's quite bare bones there's not really a lot to do down here just uh, queue up get your boarding passes and this is a Japan Airlines one as well this is in the north terminal I thought I'd show you both of them because I'm such a nice uh, youtuber <laughs> and if you just got those escalators uh, that were in front of me a moment ago you can get to the security check-in too um, doesn't take very long, very organized, but you can also go through and enjoy the different uh, shopping opportunities, shop opportunities, I like to say. Uh, we've got an HMV as well, or HMV, <laughs> HMV doing books, and lots of shops and restaurants, as you can see by that sign. So let's take a look in there. So this is kind of back in this main central building. We've got a big drugstore there if you've got a headache, we just need an eye mask. And of course the souvenirs, uh, plentiful. Now this, these souvenirs come from all over Kansai, there's Kobe pudding there and some uh, Minions stuff, I don't know what that's, it's probably not a traditional thing. <laughs> um, we've got some Uji Matcha from Kyoto and some yeah, green tea flavoured Black Thunder, I'm not sure that's so traditional. But there we go, Kyoto's represented, Osaka's got some uh, takoyaki flavoured uh, bits and bobs, it's some Happy Tan, it's kind of like a little rusk wafer thing. Dotonbori Bonbon Town, I've never heard of this before. Um, some cake as well what's that don't recognize any of these um, and some akafuku i think that's famous in mie prefecture so like i said all of um, kansai area is, is represented you can get some uh, traveling gear as well or you can queue up for ages to get some gogoichi this is the uh, famous steam buns that are popular in osaka people like to bring these home as a souvenir and there's some restaurant space too uh, before you go through security so you can see some Japanese food you can see a kind of a bakery cafe style um, and then sort of like a Western food thing you can get a juicy patty there I noticed juicy patty I think that's the name of a drag queen um, as you go through security you can get through to another set of um, souvenir shops so this is a bit more upmarket I think it's a Henri Charpentier I don't know how to say that that's a famous chocolate maker and you can see some kind of fancy uh, souvenirs you can take with you. I always like to do that before I go through, uh, after I go through security, get those chocolate leaves. You can get some of that creepy clown thing from um, Dothenbori. I hate that guy. I think he's called Taro, I'm not sure. And there's quite a large food court there. Uh, you can get some udon, there's some, uh, what's that? Is it uh, takoyaki maybe? Yeah, lots of Japanese food, and if you uh, well, some space to relax and eat your food too, there's a Starbucks. This is probably the last chance to eat as well, so please enjoy it there, because as we go down the escalator to, to the um, departure gates, there's not really a lot in the way of um, 
like restaurants, things like that. There's not even a convenience store, I don't think. I didn't see one anyway. So the gates are fairly spacious, but um, yeah, not a lot going on. Just wait for your flight. But uh, you do have a nice view of the airfield as well. So please enjoy that if you're a plane geek like me a little bit. <laughs> and there we go. So uh, enjoy your flight from Itami Airport. I hope that was useful. And um, try and get a window seat on the, uh, well, on the Osaka side. <laughs> you can get a nice view of Osaka City. I tried to get a nice, um, nice bit of footage here. I think you can see Yodagawa River here and central Osaka just uh, in the middle there. And I think as we pivot around you can see Osaka Castle. Um, so I hope that was useful. I hope you uh, enjoy using Itami Airport. I hope you can take some nice domestic flights in Japan. If you have any other questions, requests, anything like that, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise like, subscribe and uh, share this video and I'd appreciate that a lot. So thank you for watching. Take care. See you next time.